Hi, I'm Paris and I'm back with a quick follow-up today of a product I reviewed about two months ago called the Drain Strain. I can't show it to you here because it's actually in the drain of the kids' bathroom. The idea is that it has a little basket connected to the replacement stopper they give you and it catches the hair and whatnot that falls down in the sink. And the reason I'm doing the review today is that the sink has clogged up. It took about two months since I installed the Drain Strain. Now it doesn't prevent clogs, so it's normal that it would clog up again since the kids brush their hair over the sink there. But what it does is it makes it easy to clean the clog out. Instead of having to go down underneath the sink and undo the trap and the water comes out and all the gunk there, it's supposed to be caught in this little basket that is in the replacement stopper piece they give you for your sink. And that's supposed to be as easy as twisting the thing and pulling it out and then you can clean it out and put it back in good for another month or two. So I'm going to pull that out now and see what's in there. And I'll also remove the trap underneath the sink to check it and make sure that it isn't accumulating more gunk and resulting in part of the problem with the backup. The drain strain goes for about $15 to $25, depending on if you wanna buy just one or if you wanna buy two for two different sinks and how many replacement baskets you want. You can just wash out the baskets, but if you don't wanna to touch the stuff that's in there, you can just dispose of them and put a brand new basket on. If you'd like to find out more about the drain strain, there's a link right down below the video. Roxanne, I was doing some face painting yesterday, so there's more than the usual amount of weird stuff here in the sink. Let me turn on the water and show you that it is indeed plugged up now. Okay, so let's see if I remember how to take this off. It's simply a twist and a pull, I think. Oh, okay. Well, that seems to have taken care of the, the plug. It's all in this basket now. Hmm, let me see about cleaning this out and showing you what the trap underneath the sink looks like. As I remember, there's a button here and here. I'm just supposed to squeeze those and the basket should pop off, I think. There we go. So there's my stuff to clean out. That only took about 10, 15 seconds to clean out. The nasty stuff just pulled out. Still has the shape of the basket, as you can see. I'll now reattach the basket and put it back into the drain. That took about another 10 seconds. There we go. And as promised, here is the trap from under the sink. I hate having to go down and take this out. It's got a little bit of nasty stuff in there, but it did when I put it back on last time. I didn't actually clean it out completely. Nothing else has accumulated in it. Certainly nothing that's going to cause um, the sink to plug and back up. So the drain strain strained out all the crud. It was very easy to take it, throw it into the trash, put the now clean basket back into the device, back into the drain, and I'm ready to go for probably another month and a half to two months. That's how long it took them this time around to plug up the sink. Now I have to go reinstall the trap under that sink and make sure it's not leaking, but maybe for the last time, at least for a long while, because as long as I'm using the drain strain, I'm hoping I won't have to climb down there on my knees and undo that anymore. If the idea of the drain strain intrigues you, check it out at the link down below this video. Also, just in case you hadn't noticed, our previous video was me installing this decal decoration set on our wall of the world. Turned out very nice and we're gonna use it for a while as a backdrop to our videos. This is courtesy of the Decal Guru, and we'll put a link to their website down below this video as well. It's always nice when things work the way they're supposed to. You can keep checking back for our future videos where you'll see things, whether they work or whether they really don't work for us, or you can click that subscribe button down below and you'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches our